Joanne and welcome to Telegram Two Treasures. I am walking up right now to a church garage sale that they held every fall and spring. It's extra early this year for some reason. Not that I'm complaining, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some recording and hopefully find some treasures inside. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey, Judy. Did Mary leave? No, she's out in front. Mary she, and uh, Joanne. Nelia. Nelia, did she leave? No, no. Mary's out there. Well, she did you find anything yeah, good? Oh, you did. Right. I did. I, I found a few good oh, things. Oh, good. I'm gonna look again because I usually miss. Okay. This is pretty. Oh, where's that necklace go with the pearl in the heart? Right here. Well, here. Not, isn't that in the box, right? Yeah, right now. Yeah, well, that's got a heart. Oh, yeah, there's several things here. It's nice. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so I can buy that pearl. Yeah, white or a girlfriend? Now, this is a nice silver chain here. Oh, we have a silver chain. Nice. Really thick. I want to go ahead and share with you the items I bought at the church sale that I went to. They have the sale two times a year. In fact, I did a video back in October from the other sale and I did find some good jewelry items and other treasures then. Um, I do mainly pick up jewelry. However, after I go over the jewelry I found, I do share um, some shoes and clothes. It's like a two minutes very short so if you're not into those items you know you can fast forward through that that's fine um anyways i'm gonna go ahead and share with you what i found um first of all i love this vintage box here um so they put out everything pretty much in boxes or little bags some things are hanging but um this one i just like i just want to buy for the box but i did buy it for the necklace and it's actually a j crew necklace in great shape and it was six dollars um it's i just like the colors in it i bought it for myself but of course j crew resells really well so if i get tired of it i definitely could resell that um and here i have these are some clip-on earrings and i'm not super familiar with the whoops and I'll throw them down, but they're clip-on, and I'm not familiar with the brand, but it's C. Stein. I have to do a little research, but I thought they were cute for 50 cents. And then this is really pretty. It has a sterling silver toggle clasp on it. I don't know what stones these are, but they are natural stones. This was $5. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not because it is a little snug on me. I don't think I will, but I really do like it. I got um, a brooch. Oops, tangled up in something else, but this little brooch. Looks like a little bonsai tree. And it says Amway on the back. All I think of with Amway is that, you know, I used to sell Amway products and things like that is what I think about. Um, this was actually $5, but it is gold filled. And my son plays the French horn. Um, so I know finding like little charms with instruments are not super easy to find. So I thought somebody might be looking for this and it is vintage, the gold filled. 
Um, I also got, let's see, these are also gold filled. And these are two little shoes. And that one was $5 too. And then this one is a vintage, kind of a slider charm. And this was also $5. But this one, I don't know if it's going to show up, but it says 14 karat in there. It says 14 karat dolphin. I got this. Let me move that over a little bit. This necklace. It's just delicate. It is not sterling silver. I thought it might be um, the clasp. You know, I wasn't sure, but it isn't. But I liked it with the little moon with a little dangle hanging off the end with a little rhinestone star. I just thought it was sweet. So I grabbed it for a dollar for myself. Um, then I did get this, which is a cameo necklace it was three dollars and it is gold filled I thought the shape of it was pretty unusual too I don't usually see it that elongated shape like that in the oval and I thought that was really pretty I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not I brought this lovely brooch I have a weak spot for anything jade or looks like jade um, it actually is marked sterling silver, and that was $2. That was pretty. Um, this is just a little dangle. It's sterling silver, a little pearl dangle for a dollar. I got this tangled up. This is a vintage Sarah Coventry brooch. I don't know how much this was. This was a dollar. On Sarah Coventry. And I thought this is really pretty. This is a, um, what was that brand? Oh my, I need my glasses on, but you can see in the video and I can watch it when I check. I left my glasses, which is not a good thing. But anyways, it's, it was a dollar. I just thought it was really pretty. It's actually I got it for myself. It's this long Y kind of necklace with a couple little beads. I just really liked it. And these earrings were 25 cents and they are silver, sterling silver um, wires on them, on the fish hooks. And this was just a bunch of like random jewelry in a like a scrap area and she let me just she's like oh you can just have those and this is actually sterling and these are like little cat's eye beads or something and this is like a little italian mosaic earring and then i got this little cat is this little cat brooch so cute my cute doesn't have a maker's mark or anything on it that was only a dollar i just thought it was really sweet so got that um pair of earrings they just have little leaves on i thought they might be gold and they had little like rhinestones on them um because they had the gold color post so i bought for 50 cents just to see you know but once i got home and looked at them a little bit closer um they aren't gold but you know for 50 cents i didn't really lose out on that and then this item these are really pretty i like these these were let's see these were $2 and these are sterling. And I want to think these are turquoise. I'm not 100% sure, but they sure look like turquoise to me. They're really pretty. And then my two favorite things. Um, this one, I've never heard of this brand before, but it was in the original bag, which is super cool. And Here's the name of the brand, and I'm not familiar with it. It's only $3. I just love this. This is not going to go up for sale, although I looked it up, and actually they sell really well and for good money, and it appears to be brand new, but I just love the shimmer on this. This is a definite keeper for me. So pretty. So I like the way it fits, too. It, you know, I have a little bit of wiggle room, but it's not... 
it's not falling off my arm either. It's really pretty. Love it, love it, love it. Did I say that I loved it? And then this item, um, I recognize this little clip-on charm. These are like the cheap ones you get on cruises, that DI. Um, but I looked at this and I thought, this is kind of unusual on here. And it has a 333. And usually if there's numbers on it, it makes me think, and it looked like gold to me. So I looked up the 333 and that's actually eight karat gold, vintage eight karat gold. Um, I don't have any way to test it because my lowest acid is 10, but I am assuming that this is actually eight karat gold. Um, it does really, that's what drew me to it because it wasn't marked 14 or 10 or, or whatever. Nobody caught that. And so I got a little bit of gold, eight karat. Yay. Then they also had this bag sitting there and um, the woman that was behind the counter, you know, the table, she was talking to someone else and she said, oh, do you do crafting with your jewelry? And she said, yeah. And she goes, oh, I have this bag. And she went ahead and got it and showed it to the other woman. And I was like, oh man, I didn't see that. And the other woman didn't buy it. So guess who did? I never find jewelry jars. They don't do them in my area. Um, so I'm excited to see what's in this bag. It more than likely is just little broken pieces from what they were putting out, of course, but I was just, you know, for $3, why not? Let's see what's inside. All right, just the boxes alone are fun. So here obviously was a stretchy bracelet that fell apart. So there's some, these are actually nice beads, so they can go to craft lot. I can repurpose that box. That's hard. Some more beads. And whoops, and that's okay. So I can use these boxes when I resell. Here's a bracelet. Oh, these are pretty. Or a necklace. I don't know. It's kind of woven together here. Still a little bit, whatever it is. But they're nice little stone chips. So that could be repurposed. And here's a bead. Oh my goodness, a huge earring. I don't know what this is. This came off of something. That's kind of fun. And let's see, a really worn out bracelet. A pin, a wonky bracelet bent. Ugh. All right. That's kind of cool. Like a little camera, maybe a camera bag or something. I don't know what's in there. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we have oh friendship bracelet. Not super exciting. I know I'm going kind of quick. Um, no wimpy wines. <laughs> a miscellaneous chain of some sort. Really heavy. Doesn't feel like anything exciting. Um there's a pen. This looks like a military pen. I don't know anything about those, but that's what that looks like. Here's a coach tag off of something. This looks like another military pen. I don't know anything about that. A pair of like a yellow enamel earrings. That's definitely military. There's a yellow sparkly pen. And these are definitely some kind of stone carved. That's interesting, like a horn. Very different. These pieces like granite, some kind of, some kind of stone. Right, let's keep going. Right in here, this looks like a bag of buttons. That is exactly what it is, a bag of buttons. This is scarlet something something, craft item. 
here's a broken necklace or two. There's another broken, looks like the clasp. These are like, yeah, the clasp is broken. These are really heavy. These feel like hematite. So another crafty item. All right, I'm not gonna empty the bottom of the bag because it has a bunch of like little, little teeny tiny beads. There's some little pearls and a broken necklace. And more little beads, earrings, like a little button, another pin, some other little, like a bra looks like a bracelet or something fell apart in here, some earrings, I don't think that's anything. Mm. I don't see anything like stands out. Um, this, however, does stand out. And this is a James Avery bag, um, which makes me think maybe somebody, they probably didn't donate their James Avery, but I've never found any James Avery and I've never found a bag. So, I mean, so yeah, that's kind of fun. I just, we'll go with that as being cool. That's cool. All right, what's in here? Let's see, let's see. Something magnetic, because these are all sticking together. What's that? Some random little earrings. A pin. Let's see, we got like a little ice cream cone, a bunch of little earrings. Yeah, there's some little treasures in here, a little stick pin. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. Look at this little pen. Like a little baby has a bear and a block on it. And it's like a broken earring, maybe. Yeah, two little broken earrings. Um, little safety pen. Let's see. Another earring. There's the other one was in the other bottom of the bag. Just some little, you know, little junky earrings. Good for a little crafting. All right, let's see, anything else? I see something in here that caught my eye, so this looks good. Um, yeah, so we have this, this is pretty. Purple color, it's not marked, but that's a pretty little pendant. I like that. And, This one is actually, this is marked 10 carat. That's marked 10 carat, so a little tiny bit of gold. And this one, these are pretty. There's a pair of earrings in here. These are real pretty. And they're marked 925. Those are nice. This one, I'm gonna have to, uh... oh, this is marked, it's probably 10 karat or 14 karat. I can't see that one while it's on the bend, but I think that's gold. There's a little pen. Oh, and that one says gold filled right down there. Nice, nice, nice. And then these look like they might, could be sterling silver on the post. And this really does look sterling silver. Could this be James Avery? Or if this is James Avery. I don't see any markings on it. James Avery do put markings on their jewelry, so that definitely is not James Avery, but it looks sterling to me. We're going to have to test that one. I also grabbed some shoes and clothing at the sale because the shoes were only $3. My local um, Goodwill, they priced their shoes 
from $9.99 up to like $30. They're very expensive. So I did get a couple pairs of shoes this time. Um, I only put one shoe up here. You didn't need to put both on my table. But I got two pairs of Rockport men's shoes that were in really good shape. This one, I don't think this pair was ever worn. And I got a pair of Cobb Hill by New Balance shoes. You always want to check the soles on these and bend them really well because they can get dry rot in them. I got a pair of Brighton um, sandals. The sun is kind of peeking in the back of my porch right now, so you're getting a sun stream on them. Um, I got to clean the bottoms of those. And also a pair of Keen slip-ons. Um, I gotta look these up. I'm not real familiar with this particular design. I usually see sandals, so, but I know the brand, so I picked those up. Oh, the sun's really streaming in here. But I also grabbed um, a scarf. It's really pretty. It's green and blue. Um, I picked it up because it's from Ireland. And it's also mohair, which mohair items seem to do very well. Um, and I figured if it didn't sell, it's something that I actually like. But we don't need scarves very often in Florida. And I picked up this. It's a two-piece set. Um, trying to find the label for you, but it's pre uh, fresh produce. And it's nice because it's an extra, extra large. So I got that to resell. Larger sizes seem to do really well. Um, and that was $4 for that set. This was only a dollar. I don't ever pick up Jones in New York, but it was cashmere and extra large. So, you know, I, I guess that's why I grabbed it. And um, here's a cabbie shirt, a uh, sweater, I should say. And it's a really in current label and design. So I grabbed that. I also got, um, this is a new with tags, um, sleeveless shirt. It's J. Crew, and it's not the factory. So that was a good find. I picked up a couple pants. There's a G and cut from the cloth. And then these are shorts actually. And then I got a pair of Tommy Bahama shorts, men's. And then I got one thing for myself. I do not um, buy this brand for resale, but I like it for myself. They sell it at Kohl's. It's a Lauren Conrad, and I liked the little bow detail. It's a long sleeve and it has a little lace at the bottom. So this is for me. Um, I'll throw it in the washer and good to go. All right, so that'll wrap up this video of items that I got at this fabulous church sale. Um, I want to thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet for my channel, please do that and hit that little bell, and it will let you know. Um, again, if you like yard sales and jewelry and thrift stores like I do, you know, I love to watch other people's channels, so, you know, let me know if you have a channel too, and I will be sure to check your channel out. All right, thank you, and until next time, bye-bye.